Hi, I'm Anna, and today I wanted to share with you some things that I do as a homemaker that make life easier. So I guess you could say homemaker tips. Next is my Dutch oven. I love this. You can put it in the oven or cook on top, so cook stove top with it as well. And it is just amazing. I cook so many things in here. Bread, chili, spaghetti, hamburgers, whatever. Next is a cake stand. And as you can see, I've got leftover birthday cake in here. But these are so pretty to keep cookies on, muffins, whatever. And I got this one at the thrift store for $10, I believe. Which is a really, really good deal because the last one I had was 15 So 10 bucks, And it just makes your counter pretty. It makes... I loved when my grandma had treats in the cake stand and it just makes eating a treat exciting and special and fancy so i use this a lot next is a planner um i use these for everything um here recently i've started putting since i'm going to start a garden i put like when i need to plant things let's see i think in this one what weeks i need to sow certain seeds and I also use it for like a weight tracker. So here's like 171.5, 169.9. And I use it also as a little diary. So on the day I'll put like a little snippet of what happened that day. You know, Ava Claire's birthday party was beautiful. I loved it. I also use it to, since I work at home, uh, I use it to log my hours for work. I just love a calendar. You can't go wrong with one. And it helps me out as a stay-at-home mom so much. And instead of like, I forget to pull out the baby book and write things down. So I just put it all in here. And then whenever I have free time, then I can go back and look through and add it in. Things like that. So a planner is really, really handy. Next are baby wipes. I love these not only for wiping your children's butts. But for cleaning up messes, I clean my high chair off with these. Stains out of my rugs with these. I mean, these are just amazing. I don't know. Probably shouldn't be using these on your kids, but, but uh, they are phenomenal. I love baby wipes. And I will probably continue to buy baby wipes even after I have no babies. So that's how great they are. <laughs> oh, also a chalkboard. <laughs> So I have a chalkboard I bought at the thrift store for $3, I believe, and I put things that I need to remember to do. So I need to move my deep freeze, organize the deep freeze, paint inside my arch, wash my makeup brushes, which I keep forgetting to do. Uh, this is just a thing that I want to remember, the water, the paint color I want to paint my bedroom, strip my baseboards, you know, all this stuff. Some of it work, <laughs> since I stay, I work from home, I have to remember to do that. Um, some of these things are easy to do, but sometimes as a mom, I'm just walking around and I'm like, what do I do? I, I can't figure out what I'm needing to do. And so when I write things down and make to-do lists, this really helps. Also, I created some books to sell on Amazon and this is one of them. It's uh, my to-do notebook. This is because I bought it, so I can't resell it. But anyways, you open it up and it has the date. And then it has like a list. So you have to do. The bullet points are blue, like the co cover, they match. And um, I just love it. You can put the date. You can save these for your husband. <laughs> and then at the end, is I just put just some plain, I think I only did like a few plain pages. Like a little journal entry or something, if you want to use it for that. But I love to do notebooks so you can find this on amazon it also has a name for your to put your name a place to put your name <laughs> um if you look up my name i don't know why it's so hard to find stuff on there so if you type in like anna e crossno you should this should pop up and you can buy it off amazon which is really really cool i don't believe i have sold one yet and it's been up there for a couple months so if you would like to buy one and try it out, go ahead. The cover is, um, it's like soft and you can clean it off, which is what I like because I will use this in my kitchen probably, um, because that's where I spend most of my days. 
Anyways, these are my other ones, but I'll share those in another video. And to keep this somewhat short, um, the last thing that I use a lot as a homemaker, which a lot of people dog, is social media. So like YouTube, I guess Audible, I don't know if you would consider that social media. Um, Instagram, Pinterest, I love Pinterest. And I use these as inspiration. Like I love watching home tours. It makes me want to change my home. and It gets me excited and gives me inspiration throughout the day. I love Pinterest, you know, recipes. What am I gonna make for lunch? What's a healthy snack for my kids? Um, Audible, while I'm cooking lunch, I want to listen to a book. Currently I'm listening to An Echo in the Bone by Diana Gabaldon. Uh, it's in the Outlander series. And so I love those, those outlets as well as Spotify. I listen to Spotify, you know, podcasts. Sorry. I listen to podcasts, you know, when I'm in the shower or getting ready or when I'm, you know, I currently was listening to the office ladies podcast while I was cleaning up my kitchen. So just things like that. I think it's great as a homemaker. Some people think it's extra you know don't let's don't bring that stuff into your home but to me i think if you use it correctly it's really a joy it makes me happy it gives me inspiration it gets me excited about things and so i really like them youtube spotify audible pinterest sometimes instagram that can be iffy but um yeah i really like them so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed these are things that i use on the daily that help me make things life easier or pretty like the cake stand. So I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe for more.